Welcome to Laptop Media GPU Battle Royale. The new NVIDIA Pascal GPUs now use 16 nanometer chips instead of the older Maxwell 28 nanometer ones, allowing higher clock speeds and lower thermals. NVIDIA has managed to make the difference between desktop and mobile GPUs as close to nothing. The GTX 1050 Ti and the 1060 can be found in a lower end and mid range gaming laptops, while the 1070 and 1080 are positioned in the higher end machines. We start with the spec comparison. The GTX 1050 Ti is a 4GB card that has a base clock speed of 1493 MHz. It may be more than the 6GB 1060's 1405 MHz, and as you can see, you can depend on a better performance from the 1060 because of the higher amount of CUDA cores, 1280 to the 1050 768 cores. The 1050 Ti has 32 render output units and 48 texture mapping units while the 1060 has 48 ROPs and 160 MUs. Now let's take a look at the high-end GPUs. The 8GB 1070 and the 8GB GDDR5X1080. The X in the end means a higher memory bandwidth and an overall better performance. The base clock speed is 1645 MHz for the 1070 and 1730 MHz for the 1080. As you can see, they also have a significantly higher amount of CUDA cores than the latter two. The 1070 and 1080 have the same amount of render output units, 64, but the texture mapping units differ, respectively at 170 and 213. And now for the performance comparison of the Pascal models. Comparing the GTX 1050 Ti with the normal 1050, we see a 34% boost of performance, while the GTX 1060 provides 42% more than the Ti. From the GTX 1070 we see a 55% performance difference than the 1060. While the title king of the hill goes to the GTX 1080 which not only scored 21,655 on the 3D Max Firestrike performance test but also did 26% better than the 1070. We decided to test the performance of the lowest tier Pascal GPUs, the 1050 and 1050Ti, Ti, with some of the high-end Maxwell ones. From the results we can determine that the 960M, 965M and 970M are using the same chip and were positioned in high-end machines while now the 1050 and 1050 Ti give the same or better performance but being in the low-end range they are not as much of a burden on your wallet. As a final summation, NVIDIA has managed to make the difference between desktop and mobile GPUs as close to nothing. And now you can find better GPUs in better looking, sleek, lightweight, slim laptops without sacrificing the performance. Thank you for watching Laptop Media. We have many more reviews waiting for you in our channel. Also consider subscribing so we always be up to date with the latest laptops, desktops, VR technologies, phones and everything our technological future will provide us. For more extensive information visit laptopmedia.com.